Tina in Hotlanta. This is FreePrescriptionLenses.com. I am Seymour Better, but call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you see Mo Better, look at Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling when I'm sure I'm going to uh, open up a can of, of worms with this one, but I'm going to cut brown gradient lenses for your a frame so nice. They named it twice, Kazal Kazal Legend. <laughs> of course, you got your Kazal cleaning cloth, your card of authenticity, some other stuff that comes with that in there, your hard shell Kazal case, your Kazal cleaning cloth that, couple, that doubles as a carrying bag, and of course the star of the show, the main attraction. This is the 9058 by Kazal, one of the Kazal Legend series. It comes in three colors, a black and gold, there's a silver and gold, and then the all gold. And I don't know if you guys can see this well enough, but just like the filigree work going all along the top of the frame has Kazal engraved all the way around the, the eye wire. In fact, from this side, you can see where it says Kazal, 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 Kazal. Don't know what the camera's picking up, if you guys can see that, but this very nice frame. Normally sells for $600, but I have a pandemic sale. A COVID-19 sale that everything is 19% off. Actually, let me do better. Everything is 20% off from Kazal during the pandemic. So this frame now goes for $480. Tina is making it uh, unisex. Traditionally, a lot of men buy this frame, but she wanted to rock these things. She wanted the lenses to look about the same, and hopefully it will. These will be her... The reason why I was saying I was opening up a can of worms with this is normally I don't like to do gradient lenses, and here's why. Everyone has a different idea of what the gradient should look like. I want more gradient. I want it lighter at the top, and then this way i want it darker at the top i want it one millimeter darker here everyone has an idea what it looks like i hope i'm not planting any seeds if everyone wants to be really nice to me get one solid color for the lens i can do gradients but it's just not my favorite thing to do because you have a look inside your head and it's hard for me to replicate that so having said all that can i get off my soapbox now let me go ahead and pop out the original demo lenses, one of which says Kazal, and you will be receiving. Pop out your original demo lenses. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer. We're at a milestone number, 3100. Scan that into the computer database so the years from now, should you need new lenses for this frame, I can pull them up right from what's stored in the in the computer i'm gonna hit the green start button a little stylus is going to pop up go around trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality you buy any genuine kazao legends that i offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses my receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings out flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Now, if it's the HSA flex card, you'll get the full reimbursement. I do not accept any vision insurance plans, but I can provide to you upon request an itemized receipt that you can file for your out-of-network reimbursement from your insurance company, which they will mail you a check to your home. So, let me go ahead and move on to the next screen. Enter all the components I need into the database. Your pupillary distance is 64. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button once. It's going to go down to 32. I do want to raise the optical center height up to 30. Let me see one thing here. Okay, we're good to go. So, let's go ahead and get your lenses prepped. I'm going to turn, your, turn the power drum to minus 3. Actually, let me make sure everything's on zero. Okay, we're good. Put on minus three. Turn the axis wheel to 30. And this one was marked the right lens from Zeiss. So I'm going to put that in there. Rotate until the spherical component comes into view first. I'm going to go ahead and check your astigmatism correction. We are good to go. I'm going to put three dots on your lenses.
and of course that one's already labeled R. Let me always like to highlight you're going to get the manufacturer's original packaging so you know that these are Carl Zeiss single vision lenses. Your right lens reads minus three, minus one at 30. And oops, oops, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I forget, they're so complete, they've got your name on here. So let me cover that up so nobody sees that. And the tint, the GRD, which stands for gradient. So, um, let's see, we're going to go ahead. This is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick this one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now on the back, that silver button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time, it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And get everything positioned and laid out. Make sure the lens is large enough. Woo! And it just is. All right. Get everything laid out and hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right which I can identify with. <clears throat> Let's see. Minus three and a quarter, minus 75 at 175. Turn the axis wheel to 175. Put the power drum on minus three and a quarter. I almost can tell you which way is up because of the gradient. It's darker at the top, lighter at the bottom, just like your car windshield, but a more extreme version. Check your astigmatism correction. We're at minus four, so that's looking good. Go ahead and put three dots onto the lenses. Place it onto the platform. Pupillary distance is the same. I don't have to enter any other data. That's mirrored the right side. Same for the optical center height. Get everything laid out. Make sure this lens is large enough, and it is. So... Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Let me highlight this. Carl Zeiss single vision lenses. This is the left lens. Prescription minus three and a quarter, minus 75 at 175. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, it's a bad joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So if all goes well, this is going to match this. Now... Do me a favor and get solid polarized lenses instead of gradient. Have I complained enough already? Okay, so this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is the edger. It costs $40,000, it weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, put it on the counter at Fat Matt's Rib Shack down in Atlanta, and then you can cut your own lenses at home, and you won't need me with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's gonna grind away your lens material from this size to this size. This wheel in the center is gonna put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm gonna wake up the computer. Job ID number 3100, 3100, or as I like to say, installment 3100 of my, three, my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. I'm almost, is that even 1%? No, I'm not even close to being 1% there. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly, place the magnet into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Now, if you guys can think of a funnier joke, write it down on a $100 bill and mail it to me, and I will read it on the air and give you credit for the joke. You don't even have to include your, your name. I'll recognize your handwriting and give you credit. So I'm going to hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. First, go round. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which will be minimal with your prescription and a large frame. So the larger the frame, your lenses are thin in the center, thicker the edges. So the further you go from the center of the lens outward, 
the thicker the lens will be. But she just had to rock these. And Tina, I understand. I can never blame you for that. Now, the light you see flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens. Unlike plastic, Hindex, Plastic, and Trivex, that have water spraying onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lenses, Tina, but only to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are impact resistant, high impact ballistics grade. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple of hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in hot Atlanta, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now Zeiss has partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer you the most complete UV protection, going all the way up to 400 nanometers of protection. They even say it on the packets now. All the other lens companies stop at 380. That's why Zeiss has partnered with the American Cancer Society because nobody offers you as much protection as Zeiss does. Some good optical sawdust on the edge of that lens. Now it also comes with a premium scratch coating. So now it's dropping down to the bevel wheel, getting the V-shaped bevel, so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now, Kazao Legends are typically a high-end frame a lot of the ballers rappers movie stars wear this frame because they can afford it and now Tina can too hopefully this picks up all Kazals are made in Germany again this is model number 9058 color 2 measuring 63 eye size from here to here 15 bridge and 130 temple length now the 130 starts at the middle of that screw and goes backwards so there's actually another 18 millimeters of that temple that's not recorded because the 130 starts at the center of that screw head and goes backward. So out comes the lever that's putting the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens should any portion of this lens come in contact with the cheek it will be nice and smooth. Now. Metal frames have nose pads that create separation from the face. Plastic frames like I'm wearing sit in closer. So that's the nice thing. You don't have to worry about the lens coming in contact with the cheek because of the nose pads. Now I'm going to open this door with my mind. I'm going to take the lens out, dry it off. Make sure there's no optical sawdust on the edge of your lenses and let's see what i'm going to need i'm going to need a flat blade screwdriver let me grab my tray so i don't drop the screw and somewhere on there it is so years from now anyone else changing out lenses in a metal frame get a metal or glass baking dish get a dish towel or t-shirt place it in the baking dish so if the screw falls out it'll land on something soft and not bounce onto the floor I'm going to do a little bit of Lefty Lucy. Now once the screw has come out, I'm keeping it upside down so gravity cannot pull the screw out of the frame. Turning it around, place the lens into the metal eye wire. Man, you guys can't see this, but it says Kazal stamped going all the way around the frame. This is nice, nice, nice. I don't believe you heard me. This is nice. Do a little bit of righty tidy. Now this is bad form because if the screwdriver slipped, I would stab myself in the finger. 
So I have a little rubber stop, but you can use that same t-shirt on the edge of the counter. Press down and turn until the screw tightens all the way. That is cut perfectly, so let's go ahead and start cutting the left lens. Flip that over to L, place the magnet to the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Tina. Hit the green start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame this time. And you can see as it's tracing of the shape of the left side. Oops, look at that, the block came right off. But, so you do have some edge thickness, but you have a higher than average prescription and a large frame. But that turned out pretty well, if you don't mind me saying so myself. Let me... My dots came off. It's alright, I'm going to put some more in it. Now I'm going to come down here, do the final inspection, turn the axis wheel for the right eye back to 30. Put it in. Find the center of the lens. And of course I'm reading minus three, exactly halfway between two and four. And before I forget, let me put the PD back on the frame. The unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. Starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments there, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one. So you're on the twelfth rung of a ladder. Your lens is minified. With your glasses off, you can see up close great. But you need 12 steps of far-sided correction to be able to see far away. Now, once the image is the correct size, sorry, I got an itch on my head. Once the image is the correct size, you need another full diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knobs. So you've got a minus three here, and then 90 degrees away, you have another steeper curve. And that's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we're turning that to 30. Now let's check the second curvature, the final one diopter. And we end up at minus four, exactly halfway between three and five. Because, remember high school math where you add two like signs together? Don't worry, nobody has. Let's use today's terms. If someone borrowed $3 from you, then they borrowed another dollar, they would owe you $4. That's where we're at, four in the red. Now, your left eye, you need 13 steps of far-sided correction, but only three-quarters of a diopter of astigmatism correction. So we're going to still end up at a total of four combined diopters. Now, these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. Now, as I mentioned, this frame sells for $480. Your gradient lenses is 79 for a total of $559 tax-free. Now, this is what this frame looks like. This frame, well, let's bring up this color. That is the one we're cutting, the all gold. This is color two. There's also color one, which is black and gold. And the side view, you've got black with the gold stripes there, and you still have that filigree work on there. That is color one. Color three, they call it bicolor. It is gold and silver. So you can wear this with gold and platinum. It's platinum from here back, gold through here, and platinum all around the edges with some gold trim here and here. So, again, this frame normally sells for $600. I've got the COVID-19, the COVID-20 sale. So you get 20% off your frames with the purchase. And I believe there's going to be a pandemic every year. So why not give you 20% off of Kazal Legends until there is a vaccine for coolness because Tina gonna be real cool with these on so so the little bevel wheel has come out to put the safety bevel on the back of the lens which tells me it's almost done Now, Tina, I want you to open this door with your mind this time. Concentrate, Tina. Concentrate. Good job, Tina. First day on the job, you did it like a pro. So, did it like a champ. All right, so, I'm going to go ahead and clean all the optical sawdust off the edge of the lens. Let's go ahead and check and see if this fits. Do a little bit of lefty-loosey this side. 
Come on, you. Come on, you. There we go. Alright, the screw is out. Keeping the frame upside down so the screw doesn't fall out. Put the lens into the metal eye wire. Hold my thumb over the screw as I check to make sure everything is installed properly, and it is. I begin to tighten the screw while it's in my hand using bad form. Nobody tell on me. Come down here to my little rubber stop where I can apply force to the frame and not worry about affecting the finish. Do a little final inspection, make sure everything is installed correctly. Go ahead and take this block off. Use my hand approved drying method, throw that in there, add to my sticker collection. Come down here to the lensometer. Again, the PD is worn off, but that's okay, I can work with that. Spin the fine tune knob to 175. Put that up there so I can see. Put it in, find the optical center of the lens, which is right there. Put the PD back on there. I'm reading, where's that flashlight? Minus three, excuse me, minus three and a quarter. One tick mark past three three and a quarter and again three quarters of a doctor of astigmatism correction so we're going to check that second curve and we end up at minus four because again when you add 75 to three and a quarter you get four pd is on there so do an optical center hang on last part of final inspection i remember that so just like the crosshairs of a scope i measure vertically at 30 and horizontally at 64. i'm going to turn the card around place the pd stick against my thumb there it is then we hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 64 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Optical center height of 30. And again, to the deepest part of the frame, we're getting that. That is cut perfectly. Now, this is the portion in every video that as I cut your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And hot Atlanta, hot Atlanta. Although your Falcons this year are cooling off just a weird year for sport I'm just glad we got sports but but there's free shipping anywhere in the US but when you get these in the mail Tina there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other and I'm no different I'm part of that 80% and I'll show you in just a moment but because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, again, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing my own design. This is the Christian eyewear. Model number Philippians 413, which the Bible passage states, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm wearing this in the black and silver. And if you want to see more of these colors, you can go to Christian Eyewear and do a search for Philippians 413. You will see all the colors that come in, and it actually comes with a polarized magnetic clip on. But again, when I place mine on the counter and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip this over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Now, let's see how close they turned out. Brown gradient number three, so it's sunglass dark at the top, fading to 1%, 20%. Number three tint, number two, number one. So that turned out really, really close. I guess this has a little bit more gray to it, but that's the brown that she requested. But do me a favor. If you like this video, do just that. Click the thumbs up button below. Click the red subscribe button and then click on the bell so you'll get notified of future frame and lens combinations as they become available. If you have any questions, go to the contact me page of the website. Or you can email me directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook as Free Prescription Lenses and on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. By the way, I send out a selfie request in every package. Tina, I would love for you to rock. Send me a selfie with you rocking these. 
she tells me she just got a brand new Mercedes coupe and I'd love to see her standing in front of that rocking these things but I also send out apart from the selfie request cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses but for the premium microfiber cloth that I provide and you got Kazal eyewear dead center top of the cloth but for your both Kazal cleaning cloths, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and your case. So it too will last you for years. But Kazal actually gives you one of the largest manufacturer cleaning cloths out there. So all three of those cloths, wait, four. One, two, three, four. And instructions on how to care for your case. So it too will last you for years. But Tina in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you for making these a unisex frame. And again, this is the... Thank you for your purchase of the Kazal 9058 color 02, the 63 eye size with the brown gradient lens. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.